शांति 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 ओम श्री आदिदेवाय अच्युताय नमः ओम शांति 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 से टुडेस टॉपिक इज आदित्य हृदय दिस इज फ्रम रामायण इन युद्धकांड हंड्रेड एंड सेवन हंड्रेड एंड सेवेन्थ चैप्टर वन जीरो सेवेन्थ चैप्टर इज आदित्य हृदय एक्सप्लेन एंड इनिशिएटेड बै द वेरी ग्रेट सेज अगस्ति is it starts it is having 31 mantras and total 1000 letters of sanskrit and this out of this 31 mantras the first nine mantras are namakam that is praying and praising sri aditya and the last 10 mantras are uh, the phalasruti of phalasruti of uh, aditya rudiyam in between 12 shlokas are for dwadash adityas it is categorized like that the total are 31 mantras are explained see this is tato yuddha parisrantam samare chintaya sthitam ravanam chagrato drushtva युद्धाय समुपस्थित द सिचुएशन इज इन सच ए वे दट आलरे रावण अंड राम बोथ आर एट लैगर हेड्स इन द बैटल फील्ड दे आर फैटिंग फैटिंग अंड फैटिंग अंड राम हेज यूज वेरी पवर्फुल वेपन अंड रावण रावण हज हर्ट टू हिज कोर अंड हेज फेल्ट अनकाशियस अंड हिज चारियर हेज टूक द चारियट back from the battlefield while they were going back all of a sudden ravana got consciousness and he started shouting on his charioteer man why you are taking me back a valiant leader is not supposed to show his back to his uh, battlefield so you take me back i want to stand before rama like that he has come back and he stood just opposite to rama again ravanan so ravanan chagrato drushtva yuddha me samkustitam again he was ready for fighting he has come back and he stood before rama tato yuddha parisrantam to that extent he was fighting and he was very much exhausted while applying different types of astras on him now he is thinking how to kill ravana samare chintaya sthitam he is in deep thinking this is the situation daivataischa samagamya drashtum abhyagato ranam upagamya dravin ramam agastyo bhagavan rishi daivataischa samagamya drashtum abhyagato ranam उपगम्या ब्रवीदाम ब्रवीद राम अगस्त्यो भगवान ऋषि सी अलॉन्ग विथ मेनी देवता अंड दैवास यक्ष किन्नर गंधर्व गरुड किल दीज देवगण सेवकम अंड दे आर स्टेइंग इन आकाश इन देर ओन फील्ड अंड दे आर अबर्विंग how the fighting is going on along with them our religious seer great saint the sage agastya was also there so agastya after seeing this entire situation he came down from the Uh, eternal field directly to rama the time was exactly 12 o'clock in the afternoon 
अपराहन दे काल इट एट द टाइम ही एड्रेसिंग ही इज एड्रेसिंग रामा राम राम महाबहो श्रृणुगुहियन सनातनम वो वैलिएंट रामा एंड वाई दे हैव यूज्ड राम राम द सेकंड राम इज यू आर सच ए ग्रेट वैलिएंट पर्सन यू हैव टेकन द एंटायर पावर ऑफ परशुरामा इन द प्रिटेक्स्ट ऑफ टेकिंग हिज बो फ्रॉम हिज हैंड सो यू आर हैविंग द्विगुणीकृत बला विथ यू सो राम राम वो रघु राम रघुकुल राम महाबाहो वो ग्रेट वॉरियर श्रृणु गुह्यम सनातन प्लीज लिजन टू मी द वेरी सीक्रेट थिंग एंड एवर एक्सिस्टिंग थिंग यन सर्वा नरीन वत्सा समरे विजिष्यसि दैट थिंग व्हिच आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू बाय टेकिंग दैट बाय चैंटिंग दैट यू कैन किल ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ योर सित्रुस different types any type of shatru can be killed with this one and you in your uh, samara in your fighting vijaya is thadhya for you you are going to win over it see aditya rodiyam punyam sarva shatru vinashanam jayavaham jepe nityam akshiyam parmam shivam आदित्य हृदय सी द थिंग विच आई एम टेलिंग यू इज कॉल्ड आदित्य हृदय पुण्यम सर्वशत्रुनाशन विच कैन एरेडिकेट ऑल युअर एनिमी एंड चिंता शोक द वर्री एंड सारो बोथ विल बी रिमूव वर्री मीन वाट इज गोइंग टू हेपन इफ यू आर थिंकिंग अबउट द फ्यूचर द thing which you are getting is worry and what has happened the loss incurred if you see back that is the sorrow so chinta shoka prasmanam both sorrow and worry will be totally vanished ayurvardhan mutam your bala and ayush will be doubling and they will be increasing and here aditya hrudayam the word saying aditya hrudayam usually they will say lalita sahasra nam stotram vishnu sahasra nam stotram like that stotra or something they will say but here he did not say any stotra aditya hrudayam aditya means belongs to the sun god the surya and hrudayam means which can open your brain cells which will blossom your uh, mastishka your vijnana will be blossomed your jnana will be opened that's why he named it as hridaya and it will remove all ajnana from you and only jnana you are going to acquire by doing this aditya hridaya see my dear friends here this rama is not an ordinary man He is direct incarnation of Lord Vishnu, and Ravana he is such a great, valiant warrior, and many times he defeated all the avatars, including Indra and uh, other avatars, and there was uh, no enemy at all. Those there was no person who can uh, fight against Ravana. such a valiant uh, ravana was there both are very great people and when he is telling agasya has come down when both were at uh, uh, the battlefield in the battlefield both rama and ravana were standing opposite uh, start uh, ready to start their next battle see if you just uh, remember the bhagavad gita also was told in the same situation like when kauravas and parva pandavas were ready to fight in between krishna brought uh, arjuna in his chariot and arjuna was uh, 
totally lost his uh, uh, confidence and he was not ready to fight at that time bhagavad gita was revealed by sri krishna by hearing bhagavad gita he got courage and recovered himself and he fought there and here agasya mahamuni is telling him the way in which he has to chant to empower his enemy here agasya agasya is not an ordinary saint he is not an ordinary says see to know little about agasya we will study about his life history there were two rishis called varuna and mitra these two rishis started doing a big yaga while they were performing this yaga indra was perplexed whether these people are aiming at indra padavi and doing this yaga it is better however to disturb their yaga and to take them away from there so he sent to horosi to induce them and to stop the yaga agent when horosi arrives at the situation varuna and mitra both have seen her wonderful beauty by seeing that uh, uh, beautiful lady they thought instead of giving her sapa or sending her away why don't you have two children with her so immediately they have uh, spared their sperm and they have collected the eggs from orosi and they have kept in an artificial womb and they have incubated automatically those two uh, things have become two boys one is called agastya the other is called vasistha both are twins and uh, they were called as kumbha sambhavas because in a pot like uh, Uh, incubator in a pot like uh, artificial womb they were uh, uh, cultured okay such were the and the sagastya right from the childhood he was a very big gnani in a very short time he has become uh, brahma gnani he has done wonderful tapas he has become brahma gnani and he has learnt all vedas and uh, different sastras while it was going on like that uh, he has come to the age of marriage he wanted to marry a girl and he was searching for a suitable girl and he could not find a girl who is suitable for his nature so he thought it is better a creating a separate girl for own, my own self so yeah, he fo- he searched for a person who is with 100% satvik swabhava and with very good genes from him he has collected sperm and from a lady a wonderful girl which is uh, having a very nice satvik samskara from her the egg has been collected in a test tube he has prepared a test tube baby and he was waiting to put this tashu baby into an womb meanwhile this vidarbha maharaja was uh, uh, praying different gods and doing lot of ratha sejnyas and yagas for want of children then he found that uh, raja's wife that rani is very much congenial for uh, this le- baby so he, he put this test tube baby into the womb of that uh, rani vidarbha raja's wife so uh, as a surrogate mother she has developed the baby and uh, the baby was delivered and her name 
was Lopa Mudra. Lopa Mudra was uh, brought up at the age of 16 years. Uh, that uh, Raja, he declared as Vayamvara. So many people were coming. Meanwhile, Agastya has gone there. And he told, I want to marry Lopa Mudra. And he told, this is the thing which I have done. And for my own purpose, I created. And that Raja, no, 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 how I can give you? You are uh, always staying in uh, forests. And my daughter was uh, grown up in uh, uh, wonderful buildings and in uh, aristocratic manner. Then all of a sudden, Lopa Mudra has entered into the scene and she was telling, no, no, I was uh, made for the purpose of marrying uh, Agastya only. So I want to marry him. Like that, Lopa Mudra was married by Agastya. They were a great couple. Not only that, subsequently, Agastya has done many, many, many wonders. Out of that, one very good thing is, uh, all of a sudden, the Vindhyaparoka was growing like anything. Once upon a time, Vindhya looked at uh, uh, Himalayas. Himalayas were at uh, the highest uh, uh, peaks. So by seeing that uh, Vindhya to, uh, thought, uh, yes, it is uh, always thinking that uh, that is at the highest point. I want to grow and equal and better than the height of uh, Himalayas. As it is growing, all of a sudden, the South India and the North India will be totally divided due to the height of this Vindhya. Then all the people in North, they have requested Agastya to go and tame Vindhya Parota and you see that it will not grow further. Then Agastya came over there. When Agastya came nearer to Vindhya, Vindhya knows uh, Agastya was a very glorious, great saint. So immediately it prostrated before him for Padabhivandana. Agastya told Tadastu, you please be here like this till I come back. And he crossed Vindhya and went to South India. And he settled at Tala Kaveri, where Kaveri River uh, has taken birth. At that place, uh, he settled, uh, that is now called as Mangalore and uh, uh, near that Kurg districts, they call it. And there also different types of uh, Mahatyas he has done. Such a great sage has come down. Aditya Hrudayam Punyam Sarvasitru Vinasinam Jayavahum Japanityam Achyam Parmam Sivam Aditya Hrudayam Punyam Sarvasitru Vinasinam Jayavahum Japanityam Achyam Parmam Sivam You see, by chanting this Aditya Hrudayam, which is very, very, very auspicious and highly beneficial, to the mankind. You will be victorious in the battle. Undoubtedly, you will be victorious in the battle, O Rama. This holy hymn is dedicated to the sun god and it will result in destroying all enemies and bring you victory and permanent penance. You please believe me. Agastya was telling. And again, Sarva Mangala Mangalyam Saropapa Pranasinam Chinta Soka Prasimana Ayurvardhana Muttamam Sarva Mangala Mangalyam Saropapa Pranasinam Chinta Soka Prasimanam Ayurvardhana Muttamam This supreme prayer is the best amongst all the auspicious hymns. 
it will destroy all sins dispel all doubts alleviate worry and sorrow anxiety and anguish who is revered by the denizens of heaven and asuras alike See, he is giving hundred percent assurance. Agastya is telling, my dear young Rama, you don't worry, and it will remove your chinta and soka. Both will be totally removed. You need not worry. Ayurvedan muttamam, your yeses as well as ayus will be doubling and increasing like anything. and you need not worry please chant the sadit hridaya thrice and you win over the your enemy like that ragasi mahamuni is telling and he is continuing om shanti shanti shanti